Man, I'm not even gonna cap y'all down. The Challenger is definitely growing on me again. Oh man. Oh man, I miss my Challenger sometimes. And I love the way these cars smell when they new too. Just smells so damn good. This is a scat pack. 180 on the dash. Oh, yeah, I see the 392 over there. Let's see what they talking about. So, total price for this is 64000 And they probably got a markup on here. Um, Scat pack, 7000 uh, Plus package. Uh, trip stand wheels. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I, I didn't think it would be this much. I just looked at a scat pack on the other side. It was like 53. I don't know why this one is 64. It's got a sunroof. Uh, Eight-speed automatic. Oh, Alcantara, $3,400 for the seats. Wow. The wide body used to be 6000 Now it's 8000 Right there. So that's where the... Okay, yeah, because that other scat pack I just looked at was a, a slim body, and they wanted 53 for it. But this ain't bad, though, man. You can go with the little slime green wide body on there. Ain't too bad, man. Ain't too bad if y'all just looking for a pickup. I don't know about 63, though. That's still a little crazy. You got your swinger right here. The swinger look hard, too, though. It's an automatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just, just looking at a wide body compared to a slim body, it's just so much better. Then they still got this B5 blue hair cat. This been sitting here for months, like months. Scat pack in the green. They got another one like this with the pink bumper guard still on on the down there somewhere. This one don't have a bumper guard on here though. So they took it off of this one. Bumper guard not on this one, but the bumper guard on this Hellcat. This is a Super B, but that pink bumper guard is on this one. And this one don't have no stripes. And I think he said this is a jailbreak. See, yeah, it is. I can see it from here. So this is jailbreak, just a regular. This ain't no red eyes, just a jailbreak. B5 blue. <laughs> see that super B on there? It's real smooth, real smooth. Let me show y'all this ugly ass TRX over here real quick before we get up out of here. I just wanted to do a quick little video for y'all real fast. I've been missing the action, working. So this is the regular TRX round. Y'all all know what they look like. Now this is the TRX Hennessy Mammoth 1000 edition. Made in Texas. My boy said he starting his YouTube. He going with an RT. That's what it looked like. But anyway, back to the program. All right. So this is a Hennessy made TRX. Uh... They built this down in Texas. It's got 55,000 miles on this in 2021. The sun is crazy today, y'all. Uh. So if you read, it's a Hennessy Mammoth 1000, serial number one, built in Texas, USA. And they go, yeah, I'm trying to block the sun for y'all, but it's not working. They go, your badge for your TRX. And then they, they actually stitched it in the seats. And, uh... They did some kind of performance mod on here. They didn't change the belt, so there ain't no green belts on here. Nothing like that. But they got this ugly camper on the back, man. Like, why would you put that on there? And then they lowered it, too. If you can tell, this TRX is higher than this one. But they do got the bead locks, though. They do got the bead locks on here. 
And then they put this uh, grill on here. So this is different from this one. Let's see what that thing. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right. So they got the same thing on the front side here. All right. It tells you what serial number it is. And then they changed the supercharger there to a Hennessy. So I don't know if they actually did a performance model. They just changed the supercharger there and threw theirs on. But I looked at the belts earlier. They didn't do anything with the pulleys or the belts. All that still looks stock. See all them, those are the stock pulleys. Ain't no green belts on here, so I mean, I don't know why you would change the supercharger. Just so it'll say Hennessy on there, but hey. Whatever works for you, man. But the engine bay is like dirty. Like y'all can see it. Y'all see all the dust and dirt and grime on here. <laughs> you could at least clean it up, my boy. But yeah, that's it, man. Ain't nothing too much going on, y'all. Your boy just been working. So uh, I ain't had no time for YouTube. So y'all please excuse the absence right now. I got something cooking in my brain for the Camaro. So once I get some time, um, I'll put some effort back into the channel and uh, we'll get back going. Probably be soon, cause next weekend, I'll be headed to Alabama to go to uh, Corey's car show um, down in Alabama. So, j supposed to be going with me, but we'll see. Last time he bailed on me, I went by myself. I'll probably end up going by myself again, knowing him. But, um, yeah, man, I'm not finna walk around the dealership, show y'all all these cars we didn't seen a million times. Y'all see Dodge enough on YouTube. So, you seen one, you seen them all. They got a nice Durango Hellcat over there. There's a Durango SRT over there. And then you got the two or three Hellcat Chargers in here. I ain't seen no Hellcat Challengers. But no, I know for a fact, these two Dodge Chargers have been here for a long time. That B5 Blue with the stripes and this B5 Blue right here with no stripes has been at this dealership for a long time. So ain't nobody spending money on these cars right now, especially if they got them marked up. I don't know if they do, but even so, nobody's going around spending hundreds of thousands on cars right now unless you just up and you got it like that. These two Dodge Hellcats have definitely been here for a long time. So it just goes to show you, man, ain't nobody really studying cars right now. But other than that, man, everything looking fine. I hope my boy find what he want, man more success to him he's trying to start up a youtube channel uh with a car or something he said so hopefully everything will take off for him but uh yeah man it's pretty much gonna be a wrap to the video i ain't gonna do nothing long drawing out if you ain't already subscribed to the channel subscribe um hit a comment drop a comment down below say i ain't did this in a while y'all i'm a little rusty y'all gotta forgive me but drop a comment down below hit the thumbs up for me, button for me and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I can actually go through my history and look at all the vlogs that I done dropped. I done dropped over a hundred something vlogs. Y I'm like 200 vlogs in now. I, I used to count, but I don't count no more. But I'm definitely 200 something vlogs in. So if y'all want to go check out some of my old stuff, taking delivery of the Camaro Z1, y'all do that. Support the grind. I appreciate y'all. Love, peace. See y'all in the next one. What he got over there? I hear he ain't pulled out a shaker for him now. Still an RT. They just did a test drive in a regular RT. And you got that shaker out for him now. All right, man. We go.